All right, good afternoon. Um, in a statement issued today, the International Atomic Energy Agency said it is closely following developments related to the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action as requested by the UN Security Council and authorized by the IEA Board of Governors in 2015. The IEA is verifying and monitoring Iran's implementation of its nuclear-related commitments under the JCPOA. Iran is subject to the world's most robust nuclear verification under the JCPOA, which is a significant verification gain. As of today, the IEA can confirm that the nuclear-related commitments are being implemented by Iran. And yesterday, as you will have seen, we issued a statement on the Secretary General's concern of the announcement made by the United States that it will be withdrawing from the JCPOA and will be reinstating unilateral sanctions. The Secretary General has consistently reiterated that the JCPOA represents major achievement in nuclear nonproliferation and diplomacy, and he feels it has also contributed to regional and international peace and security. It is essential that all concerned regarding the implementation of the plan be addressed through the mechanisms established by the JCPOA issued not directly related to the JCPOA should be addressed without prejudice to preserving the agreement and its accomplishments. The Secretary General calls on other JCPOA participants to fully abide by their respective commitments under the plan and all other member states to support the agreement. In, we, in a statement we issued late last night, the Secretary General congratulated Lebanon on the holding of parliamentary elections on the 6th of May, the first since 2009. The election represents a vital step in strengthening Lebanon's state institutions and consolidating democratic tradition. The Secretary General looks forward to the formation of a new government. He calls on Lebanon's political leaders to work in a spirit of unity and with a view to furthering the ambitious uh, agenda set out by Lebanon and its international partners. The UN continues to support Lebanon and its sovereignty, stability, and political independence in according with the, accordance with the Taif Agreement and all relevant Security Council resolutions. The government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo declared a new outbreak of Ebola in Bikoro in Equator province yesterday. The outbreak was a declaration, was a declaration, excuse me, the outbreak declaration occurred after the lab results confirmed two cases of Ebola. The World Health Organization is working closely with the government of the DRC to rapidly scale up its operations and mobilize health partners using the model of a successful response to similar outbreak in 2017. WHO plans to deploy epidemiologists, logisticians, clinicians, and infection and prevention control experts, experts uh, communications experts, and other vaccination support teams in the coming days. It's released a million dollars from its contingency fund for emergency support to respond uh, for the to cover activities for the next three months with the goal of stopping the spread of Ebola to surrounding areas and countries. Uh, the Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations briefed the Security Council on South Sudan yesterday afternoon. He said that heading into the next round of peace talks at the high level revitalization forum in Addis Ababa. The parties remain far apart and that the holding of elections in the current political security and humanitarian environment is unrealistic and would be counterproductive. Finally, he urged the Security Council to use its voice to dispel unhealthy narrative of regime change that some in South Sudan's leaders would like to use against the UN and the international community in a bid to win popular support. This narrative serves no one and only sows seeds of hate and paranoia, Mr. Lacroix warned. The High Commissioner for Human Rights, Zaid Rad Al Hussein, expressed today his deep alarm at the volatile situation in the Central African Republic, particularly given the worrying hate speech and incitement to violence on the basis of religion, as well as the recent killings and attacks in Bangui. The High Commissioner called on the government of Central African Republic and the international community to be extremely vigilant and to take serious measures to curb the incitement to violence on communal grounds. He stressed that, uh, that this recent violence must not be allowed to undermine the peace process facilitated by the African Union. And the special advisor on Madagascar, Ab uh, Abdullah uh, Batili, arrived in the country on the 6th of May. He will be there for one week to assess the situation on the ground and assist the Malagasy's in addressing their political challenges through peaceful dialogue together with regional 
and international partners. Mr. Batili has met with different stakeholders, including the president and the principal political leaders. Mr. Batili also met the special envoy of the African Union, uh, Mr. Lamramra, and with a high-level delegation of the South African, South Southern African Development Community, led by its uh, special envoy from Madagascar, former President Chisano of Mozambique, and SADC's executive secretary, Lawrence Tax. And um, we issued also a note to correspondents that you will have seen to inform you that uh, a meeting will take place in Greece on May 12th. Matthew Nimitz, the personal envoy of the Secretary General, will meet jointly with Nikos Kotsias, the foreign minister of Greece, and Nikola Dimitrov, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. The meeting is part of the ongoing UN's efforts to assist uh, the sides in finding mutually accept acceptable solution to the quote-unquote name issue. Um, and our colleagues at the World Food Program have told us that poor rainfalls in parts of Africa have triggered the largest insurance payout to date for vulnerable farmers. These farmers participate in an innovative climate risk management scheme known as the R4 Rural Resilience Initiative, launched by WFP and Oxfam America in 2011. Insurance is central component to the R4, providing small uh, holders and protection against extreme weather shocks linked to climate change. They will receive insurance payouts totaling $1.5 million to compensate for weather-related crop losses in Ethiopia, Kenya, Malawi, Senegal, and Zambia. I uh, want to flag um, an activity for all of you this Sunday, if you happen to be in the city and looking for something to do. Uh, you may want to attend the benefit concert of the Heartbeat Project, which provides music and math education for Navajo students living on the reservation. Uh, and I will flagging this to you because the performance will be by the UN Staff Recreation Council's Chamber Music Orchestra. Uh, and there will be opening remarks by an official from the High Commission for Human Rights Office. That's at All Saints Episcopal Church. Uh, and we say a very big thank you to our friends in Andorra and San Marino, who have paid their budget dues in full, bringing us up to 90. I'll take the first question. Go ahead. Edie. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Um, the South Sudanese government has responded to um, a United States threat to dramatically cut hundreds of millions of dollars in humanitarian aid to the country. Um, the U.S. is the largest donor to South Sudan. Does the Secretary General have any comment on this potential cut well you know it's, uh, we try to avoid on uh, we try to avoid commenting on things that may or may not happen uh, what is clear to us is that the UN is present and very actively so present in South Sudan um, based on a Security Council uh, resolution we have made our concerns known publicly as mr. Lacroix did yesterday in the Security Council as to the lack of political movement in South Sudan uh, we feel uh, the lack of responsibility often of some of its leaders towards uh, the the well-being of their own uh, people but we are continuing to support uh, the people of South Sudan uh, through through protection uh, afforded to them by the peacekeeping mission and through obviously a very active humanitarian prog progress mr. Abadi thank you Stefan as you indicated the Secretary General expressed concern regarding the decision of the Trump administration to withdraw from the joint com comprehensive plan. Does he have any concrete suggestion to avoid potential crisis in the region? Well, I think the, for, for the Secretary General, it's important that uh, others continue uh, to, uh, to abide and participate in the JCPOA, and that issues that are not directly do, uh, covered by the JCPOA, uh, also addressed uh, addressed without any prejudice uh, to the agreement. I think the Secretary General has often made his concerns known as to the volatility that we see in the Middle East uh, region and his concern uh, at the lack of uh, political progress on a number of files in the region. Masood. Thank you, Stefan. Stefan, on this 
uh, on this Iran deal on which uh, the United States has reneged. Uh, what about the, uh, do you have any understanding about the assets? That's a question you don't want, ever want to ask me. What, sir? That's a question you never want to ask me if I have any understanding, but go ahead. Sorry, I was making a joke. <laughs> what uh, I really want to ask you, what about uh, the as Iranian assets which is going to be transferred back to Iran? Now they're frozen or are they? I, I your, think that, your... that's a question to be addressed to those member states that are parties to uh, the agreement. Mr. Klein okay. and Mr. Uh, Lee. <clears throat> I'll come back to you, Masood. Yes, uh, you read off a uh, statement uh, by the IAEA as to their conclusion mm -hmm. of Iran's mm -hmm. uh, continuing compliance with the JCPOA. But uh, the IAEA does not have access to all of the sites, uh, particularly military sites, which Iran has said is off limits. So to what extent um, is the, the Secretary the, the, General the, concerned the, with, with, with uh, the fact that the IAEA cannot really give a total clean bill of health on what's going the on? The IAEA in is reporting on what it is mandated to report. Well, uh, there's some question because some folks who have seen some of these side protocols members of the Obama administration has said, have, have represented that there's 24 by 7 access to any sites, is, and that's is, not been the case. Is, Iran is said, is is, 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 is record, is, is, is 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 on North Korea, the, the, it's reported that the three U.S. hostages, you know, jumped, got on a plane and have been uh, freed. And I wanted to know, do you have any comment? And has the U.N. did the U.N. play any role I'm at all not in aware, your version? I'm not aware of us uh, playing any role into uh, into that. We've seen the reports. Obviously, if it's uh, confirmed, we would welcome the release of anyone who've been held against their will. Okay, I wanted to ask you, this morning, uh, Rosemary DiCarlo was sworn in as the new head of Department of, of Political Affairs. And in, in the media alert, I didn't realize that you were this closely in, in, in charge of it, but it says photo agencies only. So apparently, I guess I'm wondering, this is a change, and you've described this as photo agencies are entities whose main purpose is photo coverage. That would seem logical. I guess so. So does this mean that, for example, why, I see it as a, I, I, it seems like you'd want more coverage rather than less up there. But my question is, by that definition, it seems like wire services are not, their primary purpose is not photo coverage. So is this, can, I'm asking you. I think, okay. No, I, that's, I, think I, the, I think the question, I think, the question to, I think the question was to me. Uh, yes. The, I'm trying to bring some rationale in the way photo ops are uh, organized. I think entities uh, who do photo coverage on a regular basis, whose primary uh, goal is to do photo coverage, like the photo services of the wires, uh, will be covered by it. There are other uh, photo ops where there will be comments and speaking will be open to uh, a wider a wider range. Uh, my question, you said entities, number one. So the primary purpose, you're now saying it's, that entities can have different components. It's, it's so my, is it, this directed it, at smaller media? I just would it, like to it, know. I mean, it, it's, it's kind it's, of tumbleweeds up there. It, There's it, nobody there. It, it's, di it's directed at rationalizing the process as I see it. Thank you. Did you consult with anyone before I, I, you did this? Because there's people that take photographs. There are a number of photographers at the UN, I, including I, some that I, double I, with UN Photo, as you may know. It, it's everything just a it unilateral. Was consulted. Yes, go ahead. Thanks. Um, I would like to know what's what's the SG's position on uh, ir the Iranian uh, ballistic uh, activities. Does the SG believe that uh, the ballistic activities uh, in Iran uh, destabilize the region or uh, escalate the, the tension or? Should it be addressed by by Iran and uh, maybe okay, neighbors? Should, I think international issues community. outside of the JCPOA should be uh, uh, addressed without any prejudice to the JCPOA, which what the SG is. Our, our principal position is is one uh, of more disarmament rather than one of more armament. Benny, follow up on that. Uh, isn't that part of a Security Council resolution that Iran... Uh, right. there, are there are relevant Security Council resolutions that need to be abided by. Is it the Secretary General's uh, assessment that the Security Council resolution... Because there is uh, controversy inside the Security Council between some say that it's 
half permitted. Look, the, 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 the council will interpret its council. We, we obviously, as a matter of principle, support Security Council resolutions. I have one more question about uh, the, does the Secretary General believe that the Sunday election in Lebanon were free, fair, and according to uh, I think we, the we democratic... Issued, uh, uh, we issued a statement, uh, I've seen a statement. expressing our... Uh, our opinion on it. We were not involved in the uh, monitoring of the elections. Thanks, Steph. Um, I wanted to know what the SG thinks the impact of the withdrawal from the Iran deal will be on the North Korea negotiations. Listen, I, I think uh, that's a question best answered by uh, analysts that work for your various news organizations. Uh, I think he, he will. He uh, we're a clear deal. Yeah, I mean, I, he, that it might yeah. damage the he, talks he with North is, Korea in uh, any way. Supportive of the efforts of uh, the peaceful denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and he was supportive of the JCPOA. So. Thank you. The letter by the Nigeria Main Opposition Political Party to the UN Secretary General against the Nigerian government is one issue that has been generating a lot of controversies in Nigeria. I want to know if the Secretary General has uh, received a petition and if you are also aware of the petition. Uh, I need to check. I, don't, I haven't been able to get an answer on that. Yes, and then Olga. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, does the Secretary General have any comment about his visit in Cuba, uh, his impression about the meeting with the Cuban president? I think he was very pleased uh, by his visit to, to Cuba. Uh, he was very pleased by the discussion he had with the, um, uh, with the president of Cuba. It was the first time uh, that they met. Um, and I think he was very impressed as well by the ECLAC, uh, the ECLAC summit, uh, the support that uh, the member states of ECLAC were giving to the organization. Um, and he seemed to be smiling this morning when he came back. So, uh, Olga. Uh, thanks, Steph. Uh, also on GCPOA, as the uh, U.S. president is talking about a new, more comprehensive international deal with Iran. I wonder if UN is interested to be a part of it, and more important, if UN uh, can provide uh, can take these new possible talks under its auspices. I think we're jumping the gun here a little bit, so I'm not going to have a specific comment on that. Uh, Masood. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, I just want to know one question, uh, two questions. One was discussion which I had asked earlier uh, for Han, and he said that he didn't know, but I know for a fact that a World Food Program a delegation is going to North Korea. They are in North Korea. We, we announced that yesterday. North, and he said, at that time, he said he didn't know. So what is it that they're going to do? Are they now, since the things, uh, the, the normalization of well, relationship? You know, WFP the has a humanitarian program in, uh, in North Korea focused on nutrition, uh, especially of uh, women and, uh, and children. David Beasley is there. Uh, obviously, to look at the program and for discussions with uh, North Korean officials. Matthew, yeah, and to also follow up on a question, maybe you'd say the same thing. Follow up is about the ma murder of Asya Begum in Kashmir, in which dozens of Indians raped her and then took her body and put it away, and that has enraged the Kashmiri Muslims in particular. Does the Secretary well, we, we, have any we, this, question, this question was raised. I answered it. We expressed our, our concern and horror, first of all, horror at uh, the, the rape and, and, and murder of a, young, uh, of a young child, and we hope that the perpetrators will be brought to justice. Matthew and then Michelle. Sure. I wanted to ask you, I have a follow-up on, on what you said before, but I want to be sure to be able to ask you about in Cameroon. Cameroon has reported that the government has... Uh, told churches that it is prohibited to provide humanitarian assistance to those fleeing the Anglophone areas, whether across the border into Nigeria or generally. And I wanted to know, since the Secretary General is uh, Mr. Refugee, does he have any view of this, of a banning of humanitarian assistance to people fly, fleeing the Look, burning we, of their I homes? Haven't, uh, I haven't seen those particular reports, uh, but we Welcome. 
sorry. <laughs> we, we haven't seen... What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I haven't seen those particular reports, but as a matter of principle, we obviously uh, want to see whoever needs humanitarian help receiving it. And my follow-up on, on what you said is I was, uh, number one, again, I think like if, to, if you're going to change who has access to the 38th floor, you need to define photo agency. But I was told today that Malu has been charged with creating a list of individuals who are allowed to go upstairs. So I wanted Ma to know Matthew, if that's I, I, the case. Ma Ma Matthew, I Matthew, wanted to know Matthew, what your standard I, Matthew, is. You're, you're, no, no, just, seriously. Just, I take photographs no, I said, and publish them in a service. No, no, so no. I want to know. Ma Ma Matthew, Matthew, you're, besides me, you're probably one of the most self-centered people I've ever met. Mm -hmm. This is not about you. This is a decision we've taken to rationalize the So is the, the list going to be made public? I'm asking you. Thank you. Michelle, oh, sorry, Michelle, uh, did you have a question? Um, yeah, just on... on I'm our, sorry? Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you. And a, a follow-up on Iran I've after the announcement yesterday. Um, what sort of diplomacy has the SG been undertaking? Has he uh, spoken? Contacts he spoken have been had at uh, various levels, and I will leave it at that for the time being. Mr. Klein. Yes. Uh, going back to the SG statement that you read on the JCPOA, mm -hmm. he said that issues not directly related to JCPOA uh, should be handled outside of that framework. Um, would the Secretary General consider uh, ongoing work on uh, technology to integrate nuclear warheads with uh, ballistic missiles, since it does involve uh, both nuclear technology and the delivery of nuclear weapons within the scope of the JCPOA? Uh, the, the, you're, you're throwing out a lot of hypotheticals. No, no, well, it's no, not no, a hypothetical. Let, 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 it's not a hypothetical. Let, let me, let, okay. well, but it is. Would, but okay. So, um, they are responsibilities in the JCPOA. Uh, the Secretary General is supportive of that, as he has said uh, before. Uh, that is also something that can be uh, built on. Uh, countries have responsibilities under existing Security Council uh, resolutions and other treaties, and those should be followed. Well, Thank wait, you. Okay, can, I, can, I, can I just, can I just, uh, 